welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Joanna, and I'm glad you're here. Um, I have a wreath that I am making from a Dollar Tree hat that I'm hanging on my front door. Um, I was excited to do this project, and I was overwhelmed by the way it looked when I got done. It, I really, really love it. Um, so, without further ado, uh, let's get to it. Okay, so I had a friend ask me, um, she needs a new wreath on her door, and I told her a hat one would be really, really cute, and I was going to make one. The supplies we need are a Dollar Tree hat. Um, as far as I know, you can still get them. Um, one of these signs, uh, I'm not using this on this project, I just need this part, the welcome. And I'm going to spray paint it this color with the 2x rust-oleum this is my favorite favorite paint um i've got these flowers which i got at the walmart it's a daisy pick they were the 97 cent flowers i got these um what are they called peonies or peonies whatever you want to call them and the mint and the melon uh, yeah, that. Um, I've got that. I've got this fern. Y'all, I have had this forever. I bought it at Walmart. Um, I think it was like $10 or something. But I've been using pieces off of it for a long, long time. So anyway, I have that. I have a piece of eucalyptus that this came from a branch from Hobby Lobby. And... I don't know how much it was, but I have used a lot of it, too. Um, it's went a long way. And then I have this Mainstays Eucalyptus from Walmart. And I think it was $1.47 or something like that. And I also have this ribbon from the Dollar Tree. This is my favorite country ribbon, and that would be for the bow. Okay, first thing I want to do with this hat is remove this ribbon. It is cute but I don't want to use it. Okay, so I decided not to replace it with another ribbon, but I am gonna go back here where this glue is and hopefully most of it will remove off of the hat. But if it doesn't, no worries. It won't. Okay, so this is a side I'm going to be working with right here. Okay, first thing I'm going to do, though, is I'm going to set this to the side. I'm going to take this off. Um, I'm going to use my needle nose pliers, and I'm just going to pull this to remove that from the um, welcome sign. Ugh. That one's harder. Okay, we can get rid of that for right now. I don't want this on it, so I'm going to use my wire cutters, and I'm going to cut as close to this as I can to get rid of that. I've tried to pull them off. Wow. I've tried to pull them off before, but that don't work because it tear it, it like bends this up quite a bit. Okay, but we've got that off. So I'm gonna take this outside and I'm gonna spray it. Okay, so while the sign is driving, I'm driving. <laughs> drying. While the sign is drying, pardon me. I'm going to turn the hat back to where the glue side is, and I'm going to start working on these, uh, arranging my flowers. Um, first, I'm going to lay my greenery in, and I'm just going to pull these off. I want the shorter ones, you know, for the top, not hanging all over the place. Um, I can cut them, but I don't really like cutting them if I don't have to. I want that 
Oh, hold on. I got to go get that. <laughs> Why is all this happening to me today? Hold on one second. Okay, caught it. <laughs> so I'm going to lay these on there like that. First, before I do my flowers, I like to um, put some down to see what they're going to look like because I don't want to put it all together and then it look kind of wonky donkey or, you know, funny looking once I got this because I'm gluing this with Gorilla hot glue because it's going to go outside and I don't want um, it to fall apart. So I think that as far as my layering goes, I'm going to layer those in like that. Um, okay, so I've got my idea in my brain. Okay, so I'm just going to lay this down. Hot gluing it to the hat. Get my fingertips. That Gorilla Glue sticks to you anyway and it doesn't come off too well without pulling half of my skin. So anyways, just press that down. And then I want the other one kind of catty cornered. So I'm gonna glue that one down. I love these things. They're so helpful. Okay, that's on. All right, now I'm gonna start doing my flowers and I think I'm gonna start in the middle. I'm gonna start right in the middle. I'm not popping that off. I just pulled it off the stem. Putting a good amount of glue on there. And then I'm just gonna push it into the hat. Gorilla Glue takes a few minutes to, you know, hold. So, you have to be patient with it. But trust me, it's well worth it. Because it holds better in the long run. Okay, I want these in there with the greenery. So I'm just gonna pull these off a couple anyways and uh, pop them in. I'll probably put these hanging eucalyptus on first. I love these. I don't think I want it hanging down that far. So I'm just gonna snip this one off because I don't want that all hanging. And I'm going to tuck it up here. No, nope, I need to go up further.
Hmm. Looks like home right there. I don't want to mess this one up. So I'm going to take some of these off of this one and just place them, you know, around as a filler. Some of these are hard to pull off. This one up here and it's still wet glue so that's good I'll stick this one around here somewhere I'm just going to add this in wherever it can go in. Wherever it can fit. I think that's too long. So I'm going to cut this off. So I'm going to use a piece of this. I'm just going to pop it in up here somewhere. That looks good. Then I'll take my other one and pop it in. This is what it looks like so far. I need to fill it in a little more right here. So I'm going to be taking this eucalyptus and popping it in. All right. Yeah. Okay. This is the way I like it. I don't think that even needs to go in there anywhere. Maybe right there I'll tuck it in just because it's loose goose and needs a home. So I'll just tuck him right there. Otherwise, 
it's done. I like it so far. Now, get this crud out of my way. And I'll try to make a bow. My bow is going to sit over on this side. Um, I kind of wanted a big bow. And I always do the fold over method on my bows. Um, especially if they have, you know, a print or something on the front side. And this one has this. So I'm just going to... I'm going to use it all so I know I'm going to unroll the thing. <clears throat> I want my bow about that big, maybe a little bigger. So it'll be about that big. Yeah, that works. Okay. So when I do a fold over bow, I just fold it over. Fold it over as even as you can I may put I got two rolls because I may put a little one in this big one I'm not sure okay so I have it like this the reason I have this big loop is because this is going to be my tails on my bow. So I'm going to go in and find the center. It would be right here. And then hopefully these scissors will cut this, which I highly doubt because nope. Let me see if these will. I'm just going to cut a notch on each side. not all the way through and then I'm going to use a scrap piece of small burlap and I'm going to wrap it in wrap it around wrap it again and on the back side I'm going to pull tight and tie a knot this will cause me to be able to fluff my bow and move it around without it coming apart and the burlap matches the ribbon so I don't have to worry about the center um, being weird so then you're going to take this you're going to cut it and then I automatically fold it in and dovetail my ends. I just threw my scissors in the garbage. Oh gosh, that was an accident. Oh, I'm having a day, y'all. I promise. Okay, you'll want to turn these. They'll turn um, because you cut it short. So you want to go ahead and turn your tails so they're the right way. Then you want to take your inside and your other inside and pull one one way and one the other. And then do the same with those and twist. Go to the other side and do the same thing. Pull from the inside one on one side, one on the other. So anyway, y'all, craft wound, that's going to hurt for a few days. Burnt myself with hot glue earlier, but I didn't think it was that bad. Okay, so now you just twist your little loops to form your bow. And on these ends, I just try to hide them and tuck them in so that they will not be seen. And my bow is going to go right here to the side. I'm going to take a zip tie and I'm going to run it up through 
where I want my bow. Run it around my bow and it won't be seen. Run it back through another hole and zip tie it down tight. I'm going to snip my zip tie. I will probably put a piece of tape over this so that it doesn't scratch my glass. But anywho, now you can fluff your bow a whole lot better because it's on your on your hat and I totally smashed mine putting a zip tie on. So you just maneuver these around, pulling, tugging, adjusting to how it looks good to you and you are satisfied with it. Flip that one over. And I just stick my fingers in and fluff my bow. And there I go. I'm pretty satisfied with that. I'll take these, pull them, and just curl my ends. All right, I went outside and I got my sign. It took one coat of paint, one good coat, and that's it. I'm gonna kind of push my hat down a little bit. And I'm gonna take the sign and I'm gonna hot glue. Now you have to work fast because this glue on this metal just, you know, it gets cold fast. So I'm gonna get my bow out of the way and I'm just gonna try to center that up and stick that down. If you're worried about it um, coming off, which I am, I'm not too um, fond of putting metal on something because I don't think it sticks very well, but that's just my opinion. So I'm gonna take this burlap ribbon wire, I mean burlap wire I get at the Dollar Tree, and I'm gonna wrap it around a pencil just a few times and then I'll cut that off and I think I'm going to poke these randomly oh yeah around here I love this it doesn't matter where they go you just stick them in so I'm gonna make some of those and I'm gonna put those in randomly. Okay, so I'm gonna take a piece of that silver wire and I have to make a hanger. So here we are. All right, I'm just going to twist my wire to make a loop. So I'll show you a picture of the full thing at the end of this video. that's my hat wreath and I love it um, I hope you enjoyed the video thank you for watching if you liked it um, give me a thumbs up I would appreciate that subscribe to my channel and stick around for a while I like to do a lot of budget uh, friendly crafts and um, you know just home decor I love farmhouse and so there's various things on my channel that I'm doing and I love Dollar Tree hauls. I try not to do them as much because I know that they can seem kind of overwhelming or boring or whatever, but um, I can't help myself but do them every once in a while. So those are thrown in there too. Um, but anyways, um, I will tell y'all God bless and I'll see you next time. Bye.